Hey Scorpio, it's going to be a love reading for you guys, okay? General love reading. So here we are. We have some really, really good news. There are some really good things that are coming in for you guys that I feel like are great. There is an opportunity of abundance here. There's an opportunity for you to, because there looks like there's a need, right? Looks like you guys have a need for something. Um, and abundance is coming in soon, okay? Whatever this need is, this could be you needing another job, making more money. This could be you needing to pay some bills and you don't have the money. Or this this could be a need for, I don't know. Whatever the need is, because you're asking the divine for something, right? Your heart is desiring something. Again, this could be work-related, whatever, or career-related, or business-related. Whatever it is that you're asking for, you currently feel like the need is not being met. Because that's what this looks like here. Spirit is telling you to trust the divine. Okay, give it to them. Okay, you need to, because I feel like you're worrying, you're in your head quite a bit here with this trust energy and detachment energy here. You see what I'm saying? It's like you're attached to something, a, a certain outcome. You're looking at something like, you know, maybe you guys are about to give up. I don't know. Or you, you know, spend and. I'm not saying you're wrong for like wanting to give up. I'm I'm saying based on the energy that I'm seeing, it's just best for you to detach. It doesn't mean stop, right? It doesn't mean don't continue to push forward and continue to take those actions. It just means detach from what you asked for, continue working on it, and just trust that it's going to come, okay? Because the divine timing is at play, play here. It says with detachment, you finally feel whole on the inside with or without the fulfillment of a particular desire. Ironically, that's often we, when it is fulfilled. So when you stop, um, you know, being in your head and you just say, you know what, I'm not even going to worry about it anymore. I trust. I'm going to give it to God. I'm going to give it to whoever it is that you believe in or that you pray to. I'm going to trust that the universe has my back and it's going to come to me at the right time in the right space. And it's going to be just for me, right? Because divine source is here for you and they want to give this to you. But they want you to, to just say, hey, help me know that all my deepest needs will be met. Let me trust that you have a plan and the right actions will come. You are my, my source for all. Okay, so again, all you got to do, trust, give it to the divine source, and then detach. Okay, there's a need for you here to also... Um, there's a need for you to also like don't overthink something because I feel like there's some overthinking the spirit wants you to come to the edge trust your gut there are two two ways you can look at something right you can look at this situation because I feel like the way you guys are looking at this situation is like you are thinking logically about it and, and I'm not saying to remove the logic from the decision or the risk that you want to take or the action that you want to take. But I am saying, trust how you feel. So don't look at the situation as, um, you know, what you should do or whatever like that. No, like trust how you feel, not what you know. Okay. Not, trust what you feel. All right. And the reason I'm saying that is because after the abundance card came out, yes, came out and it came out crossing. So there's, I feel like, an opportunity for you that looks really good with the all that glitters card and the abundance card. And then after that is a fork in the road. Okay. So you got a, all that glitters and a fork in the road. And the, all that glitters card is about, hey, everything that glitters is not gold, right? What you trust how you feel. You know what I'm saying? Not what you maybe know. You may see something and it, it's not what it is, but your gut is telling you something different. <clears throat> now, I also feel like there's an energy here of you making two choices or having two options. One option isn't the best option and you're going to just have to trust your gut that it's not. And there's another option that it feels right to you. If it feels right to you, go to the edge the number 36 could be significant for you. The number 13 could be significant for you. And the number 16 could be significant for you, okay? Um, the come close to the edge energy is about taking a risk, basically, okay? It's about you um, letting go of control. Where's the book? 
Um, cause, oh, also too, the reason why I said there's something here not for you, again, the number six, there's something not for you and you know it, you got to trust your intuition. The intuition is about, again, trusting how something feels and just being okay with it. All right. So let me see the number 36 come to the edge. Okay. Courage, taking a leap of faith, overcoming fear, and accepting risk, okay? It says facing the unknown is the only choice you really have right now if you want to progress, okay? It's okay to be afraid. Now is the time to take a risk that is not calculated to feel the exhilaration as, let me turn the page, as you, you ready yourself to take a leap of faith. Spirit is present, so let go of fear. So, you know, you, you, you're not going to fall. Spirit is going to catch you. Okay, they're here to support you. It says, listen to your heart and soul, not your head. Exactly, okay? Come to the edge and discover that you can fly, but you must step into the unfamiliar so that you may find your miracles, okay? So if this is applying to a love situation, trust your gut, let go of control, you know what I mean? It's If you're like, you just met somebody new and it's scary to be intimate with them, trust yourself and if your gut is telling you to have fun and, and be vulnerable, then do that. You know, if you're good, is telling you to go hang out with somebody new or ask this person out or accept this person's gesture or offer, then do that, right? If it's telling you not to, then obviously don't, right? But um, now is just a time to take risk and let yourself be seen, right? Truly seen. It says it's important that you speak your speak up. Your voice is what you need. State what you state who you are, say what you hope for. This is not a time to play it safe, but to take a leap of faith. You'll be glad that you did. Okay. Um, so again, if this is not about love, this is about you taking another step towards some form of goal. So, and you're going to, if you take that leap of faith and you go close to the edge, the spirit is going to deliver on that. They have no choice, but to, it's the law of attraction. All right. They're there to support you, but you got to make the choice for yourself. So don't allow fear to lead, basically. All right. So spirit is saying, don't stop. Okay. Don't give up. Keep the faith and the hope. It's not saying like, cause you know, your action is going to obviously be, um, if your action is going to push you, right. It's going to determine whether or, or not spirit is going to meet you halfway, right. They're co-creating with you. So you have to take some form of action, right? Y'all meet in the middle and then boom, there's that big boom. Anyway, so this is this peace card, the number 18. That's another reason why I was telling y'all, I feel like you're overthinking because there's a, like, you know, ultimately what you want to find is peace, but I feel like you're overthinking or maybe you got a lot going on in your head. You got a lot going on in your life and you know, it's just like, well, geez, what do I do? Or I need, no, just sit down detach this could also this card peace card also talks about um doing things to help you rest your mind right from the outside world or the inside thoughts um or the overthinking so like do more meditation more yoga things that give you peace you definitely want to get outside in nature even if it's a, if it's a 10 minute walk or a one mile walk or going to watch the sunset whatever that or sitting by a body of water like you really need to do this, okay? And I feel like maybe even if while you're doing that, the answers, a lot of answers are gonna come for you, okay? Just just trust how you feel. Now, I asked a question about, okay, dealing with this situation, because it looks like you're kind of like out of fork in the road and spirit is encouraging, don't stop, right? Because the fork in the road energy is here. You're kind of like, I don't know which direction I want to go. I don't, I'm not really sure, right? With this energy, the spirit is telling you, hey man, don't stop, right? You know what way to go. Trust how you feel and, and allow yourself to act on how you feel. Now, the I asked, what's the energy the action that you guys can take to help you get there, right? And I got this card, which is the inner temple. And this is about devotion, okay? Inner temple. And this is about tuning into the portal of your heart. And that's literally what's next to that is intuition. You see what I'm saying? So are you get make sure you get in tune with your 
intuition, not what you think and overanalyze and stuff. Okay, let me read the inner temple for you. All right, we've got the number 70 could be significant for you. You could be born in 1970. All right. Now, it says you are being called to be devo a devoted student and, and tune into your heart to incorporate true devotion into your life. You could be called to develop in a regular meditation, journaling, or chanting practice. <laughs> That's basically what I said about this peace card. I love that. Okay, it says to develop a daily practice where you fill up your well and spend time with your soul. All of the answers to the questions that you seek are waiting for you in the portal of your heart, but you cannot hear them unless you carve out time each day to listen. Your soul is yearning for a deeper relationship with you, and so the more time you spend with it and show up to it, the more clearly it will guide you. We are here to grow as souls. Earth is one big playground for the soul to learn and you're being called to go deeper into your soul, soul growth or to increase the devotion by being a student of lineage or a spiritual teacher. So you might even be called to become a spiritual teacher here. Interesting. Could be talking to a star seed. If you've already been a committed student, then you are uh, being commended for your devotion. Okay, your guys want you to know how proud of you they are, and that time you spend in devotion is priceless. So don't stop. Okay, remember that. Don't stop. If you um if you're questioning your career or life path, your guys want you to turn your focus toward devotion and this prayer. Please use me in a way that delights my mind, body, and soul. May my life be one big moving prayer so this is about committing to a daily a daily devotional practice that's going to help you connect with your inner self your gut your intuition your intuition and your peace right and to stop all the and, and once you do that what's necessary is going to come to you I mean, also two spirit wants you to go have fun, by the way, because on the bottom of these two decks, I have play, have fun, celebrate. Don't be too serious. OK. Don't be too serious. Play and have fun with your friends, your family, the people that you love, the most people that you have a connection with. And then on the bottom of the other deck here is adventure. The number 14. Uh, listen to some fun music or something too because there's energy of music being really healing. I don't know why my glasses are looking crooked. Anyhow, so go have fun. Play like a kid. Do something that makes you feel like a kid again. Find you carve out five, ten minutes a day for yourself to meditate, do yoga, have some silence and some peace. Something where you could just connect with your inner you, your inner heart, and connect you spiritually. Or you might already be doing this and spirit is, again, applauding you. And they want you to continue to keep that as a daily ritual. Uh, if you don't already, you know, um, if you already have it in place, just continue to do that. Because your intuition obviously is going to grow stronger if you stay connected here. Everything you need is just, just going to come to you. OK, and you're going to know intuitively how you feel. You're going to be more in tune with yourself and not in tune with what other people want, the outside world and these negative self talks. All right. What else is coming towards my collective here for the upcoming week? What else do they need to know? soulmate energy here. I think y'all have a new soulmate coming to you. Oh, okay. You're about, you're progressing whether you know it or not and learning. So you are actually, this is really good. You guys are yeah, discipline. Daily ritual and discipline energy is here and progress energy is here. Okay, which is good. So I feel like through this new daily ritual or you continuing to connect through, through your inner self through this by using, uh, you know, yoga, meditation, going for a walk or whatever it is that you do to connect, you guys have found a way 
or again, if you haven't done this, just create a schedule and make some time for it because some discipline obviously needs to be put in place or you have been disciplined. You've been improving and progressing and your self-control has gotten a lot better here. Um, you know, don't allow impulses or feelings to like, you know, like dictate your choice. Make obviously make level-headed decisions that are going to bring you more peace and harmony in your life, right? Because we see peace here. So like, if you know, whatever the situation is, okay, if you're going to make that choice, is that going to lead you down the path where you want to be or where you hope to be? You know, a lot of you guys, I feel like right now, you may feel like you're in a holding pattern or things. I just don't know why my glasses is just been so crooked today. Um, if things have been feeling slow for you guys, or you just been feeling stagnant or something or unfulfilled, you know, there's a, expect the shift to be occurring, right? If you're putting these practices into play and being disciplined about it, and you're doing this on a daily basis, there's something that's about to happen that's going to shake up the energy. You're going to feel a shift, um, which is good, right? Um, especially when you get more connected with your inner self, you're going to feel liberated. And also to the energy of playing and having fun keeps you in high vibrational energy too. So that's good. I feel like right now you guys are growing through some form of, um, breaking some form of patterns here and you're breaking free from unhealthy cycles and you're coming to a new level of self-awareness, which I think last week, that energy came out in your weekly oracle too so good job keep up the good work and recognizing that stuff and making different decisions for yourself right you're reclaiming your control of your life and you're realizing like there are certain patterns that you've participated in you've been round and round and you're trying to break free from those cycles and those patterns so good for you um listen which one do i want to talk about <sighs> There's two things here. You have an immense talent for something and maybe it hasn't come to you yet. Maybe you haven't acted on that yet. Maybe you are currently acting on it in spirit of saying, hey, don't stop. There's a lot of abundance avail available for you with whatever this talent is. It will progress. You just got to, you know, stay focused, have more discipline, right? You know what I'm saying? I feel like whatever it is that you skill that you have or whatever it is that you have to share, it empowers you, but I feel like it's going to empower other people or it's something that comes to you very naturally. Um, there's an endless flow of creativity going to come to you if you stay centered and do these things and in place this daily ritual into your daily life or daily schedule that's going to help that talent come up and out more naturally, okay? That's what gives you, maybe it's this, whatever this talent is that you do or this skill that you have or this, whatever it is that you, you are good at, it helps other people, um, but it gives you a sense of peace and freedom, right? It gives you a sense of peace and freedom. I feel like it's also, you know, with the taking the risk here, you should probably take a risk here on whatever talent it is that you do and put more energy and effort into it, but make sure you're taking care of yourself um, so that energy can flow through you freely. Now, because we also have the energy of new birth and this new birth, I feel like is a talent being coming to surface or a talent that's progressing and opening doors for you because we have gateway energy. A flood of new opportunities are coming your way. They're going to give you many choices on a new path. But again, I feel like at one point, you're going to be on this fork in the road with all these options. And Spirit is saying, hey, don't be afraid to take a risk. But when you make these choices, you'll know which path to take based on how you feel and your intuition. Okay. So whatever this new thing is, some of you guys are going to have a new idea. This could be a side hustle, a business or whatever it is. You may be deciding to change your career or whatever the creation is. Some of you guys can even, oh, this is really bothering me y'all. I'm sorry. I don't know why my glass is doing this. Um, you guys could even, someone could be having a new addition to the family. And I think again, I talked about that last week. Now you got a new soulmate, a new love connection coming in. If you want it, it's here for you, okay? A new soulmate. But it looks like you guys are kind of closed off in a little fear. Don't allow your past patterns to get in the way, okay? Remember, you're learning. You're unlearning and relearning new habits. 
you are. You're navigating something new. And so that's okay for you like not know and understand what's going on because it's something new and unfamiliar to you, but you'll be fine. You know, don't just don't allow fear and just let love in and guide you, okay? Because you are being divinely guided to be in this person's life. There's a faded meeting and the two of you are meant to see each other. Um, the divine is bringing the two of you together. So that love is coming in real soon. A brand new soulmate, that's new energy, that's not old energy. Okay. Now, it doesn't mean that old energy is not going to try to sneak their way right back in. Because they will when you're manifesting. Alright. Let's see. Now, let's pull from our rooms deck and see what comes out for you. I've been using this deck and I really like it. It, it, it just it sort of brings the whole reading together. It really does. So, what do we have for the collective? Okay, that was quick. We have the Wonjo, happiness, celebration, harmony, family, fellowship, hope, and good luck. Inner peace. One with the universe. Listen, you guys are about to be at peace. I feel like you're coming into a period of like no more um, things come to you easily. No more stressing, no more overthinking, whatever that is. Just like peace is coming into your life. I feel like a lot of people, I know me personally, I'm over it. I'm, I feel like if it's too difficult or it's too challenging, it is not meant for me. It's just not. So the Wunjo energy is energy of joy, okay? And the earthly meanings are fellowship again. That's that play and have fun with your family and your friends that I was saying. That's that be adventurous and be open, right? And don't be afraid to take risks. That's what that energy is. I feel like you guys are coming into harmony with yourself, your, with the inner and outer world here. Spend a lot of time with your family here. It says family and happiness and fellowship, but there's also going to be a reason to celebrate here. You guys are becoming one with the universe. So let's read the Wunjo energy. Confirmation. The number 50 could be significant for you. All right. The wound, Joe. All right. Let's see. Conferring pleasure or happiness. Wound, Joe, is always beneficial, but look to the surrounding rooms. Okay, we only pulled one card, okay? So... Looks like you may be expecting a promotion or some accomplishment in your life, like I said, or um, in a business or a side hustle or something like that. Um, it says Wunjo brings in a sense of harmony and unity with other people. Um, okay, so group effort here. So don't be afraid to work with other people. You don't have to do everything alone. This says this the wound Joe signifies positive family dynamics, supportive friendships, teamwork, and happy pairing. Okay, wound Joe may tell of a change in direction. It may be important to know which way the wind blows. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a good reading, you guys. I I I oh I gotta figure out get these glasses tightened up or something. I love y'all. <laughs> Have a good day. Um, hit the like button, please. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I am running a special on personal readings right now. The special is one question, 10 minutes for $10. The link is in the bio to order, or you can email me if you, um, you know, have any questions. Otherwise, happy holidays. Bye.